good morning donde matram welcome all of you here the topic we are going to take on today is um, in depth meditation so that is the topic of discussion for this morning uh, so couple of things i will tell on this uh, try to meditate under all circumstances that is a very great thing um, try to meditate under all circumstances so whatever may be the circumstance around you you try to meditate but thing is that you are uh, most of the time we choose we pick up we feel all the favor- favorability of uh, uh, the circumstance so that we can come and meditate freely this is our uh, state of mind with this uh, mental um, phenomenon mental um, uh, thought we are progressing little bit ahead anyway um, mother puts beautifully try to meditate under all circumstances uh, somebody went and uh, complained the mother mother you try to change my uh, room i can't meditate here reason is there i can't meditate because there is a sawmill nearby the sound is coming and disturbing me while i am sitting for meditation mother listened and listened and the finally mother told uh, you have to learn to meditate on meditate under all circumstances like suppose the train is going moving uh, by the side um, then also you try to meditate that is what the requirement uh, anyway mother quotes here you may be engaged in most active action actions are active and passive passive you are then uh, stagnant or something going uh, nothing uh, you are in passive states that is different suppose you are engaged in some um, active action for example playing basketball which needs a great deal of movement it is not a uh, lazy matter it is not a passive matter or uh, um, uh, inside room matter so you are playing basketball this is outward game you have to go out and uh, you um, yet not lose the attitude of inner meditation and concentration upon the divine that is what active suppose we are passive we are sitting there before the gods uh, lighting the candle uh, putting a um, incense stick before us uh, some fragrance is there um, some sort of photo or image is seated um, before us and we are sitting on the pedestal of prayer and we are meditating that is different but when you are active suppose you are playing cricket uh, you are uh, <clears throat> busy with some um, uh, hard work then also you do one thing you go you must have you must not lose the attitude of meditation inner meditation that uh, already mother has quoted work done in two spirit is meditation work done in contact is meditation so uh, what is the attitude and uh, that is what mother um, goes inner meditation attitude of inner meditation that must be reflected in your um, uh, action and uh, of course um, concentration of the upon the divine for that actually you must concentrate no problem but you must know what is divine and uh, mother quotes so divine is what we adore in your window so uh, ultimately in the mother's vision um, definitely um, steer of window is the divine there is nothing else no more else and when you get that um, you will see that uh, you do changes in its quality when you are sitting in the inner meditation and the concentrating upon the divine so then you can find the change in the quality not only will it do better but you will do it with the altogether unexpected strength that is what if that attitude is changing if that concentrating of power upon the divine is um, getting uh, Um, more and the more you are getting then that progress is more you are getting the unexpected altogether unexpected strength strength you can you have not expected at uh, till the moment and at the same time keep your consciousness to the high uh, you will get the uh, strength the first thing is that you have to do two things um, you have to have you must uh, have the attitude of uh, inner meditation concentration upon the divine that is what and uh, if you aspire for then you will get unexpected strength and uh, sometimes you will find your consciousness is at a level high high level and uh, so pure not only high it is so pure that nothing will be able to touch you any longer nothing can touch you any longer your consciousness is so high so elevated nothing can touch it it can't be um, really um, you know um, um, blotted that is what 
and uh, note that um, this can go so far that even if um, um, uh, any accident occurs, suppose you are playing or you are going, suppose some accident is occurring, it will not uh, hurt you. That is the um, big um, positive benefit of this um, uh, inner meditation. And that will, if, if, even if some accident occurs, it will not hurt you. Naturally, this is peak. But it is big to which one can aspire. Already that word aspiration, aspire, they have used. For that actually this aspiration must be there. Aspiration shows the image of a crown. This aspiration must be there. Without aspiring you can't go forward. You can't reach the uh, highest peak of your consciousness. You can't get elevated. That is what the requirement and you have to fulfill it. For that actually you must have aspiration, you must aspire for, that is the key condition. And one thing I want to remind you here from other quotes, the number of hours spent in meditation is not proof of the spiritual progress. I have meditated for one hour, for two hours, for one day, for seven hours or fifteen minutes, something like this. That does not matter in spiritual progress. It is a proof of um, um, your progress when you are no longer have to make any effort to meditate. It happens. So, so for that only you don't have to make any effort to meditate. That is what the easiest and the coolest process. That is the best process. Um, other course, uh, how long you have meditated, that is not the issue. Issue is that when you will come out of it. But most of the time we keep uh, doing the meditation and uh, looking at the watch when the time will come. Or we are doing Rama Japa for half an hour or one hour. Then during that time what happens really um, we are moving, um, we are just uh, um, predicting some footsteps it will come and uh, of course take my seat and I will be relieved of this meditation. That is what happens but uh, that is not the rule. Then you have uh, rather to make an effort to stop meditating. When time will come you have now you have begun, uh, started meditating then you have to make the effort of to stop meditating and it becomes difficult to stop meditation. You try to stop but it becomes difficult to stop meditation. Difficult to stop keeping, thinking of the divine. Only the divine can round the clock um, throughout in 360 degree. So you can find uh, only the divine with bearing uh, of whom you can't uh, leave. You can stop thinking of the uh, divine. Difficult to come down into the ordinary consciousness because you are still um, at a high consciousness. That is what. Then mother poems, uh, of course, um, not to work, to act uh, with devotion and in uh, inner consecration is also spiritual discipline. To work, so, uh, everybody works, works, but uh, conditions are imposed. Uh, to act with um, uh, devotion, to work, to act with devotion and an inner consecration. To act with devotion and inner consecration is also the spiritual discipline. The final aim to be um, constant union with the divine. Uh, that is what yoga, yoga means union with the divine, but the mother uses few terms, constant union with the divine, but thing is that uh, two great words have been used, you must know what and who divine is and uh, you must be in constant union with the divine, not only in um, meditation but also in all circumstances and all, all life, active life. Not in a passive life when I am sitting doing some pranam and offering my meditation, active, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, for that actually mother has quoted active life. An example has also given uh, before some time, playing basketball, uh, playing cricket, you are busy with working, uh, physical working and all, then also you must have the in attitude of inner concentration, second uh, thing you must have the aspiration inner consecration and the concentration upon, upon the divine. That aspiration must be there, that attitude must, must be there, inner attitude mother course. And then we are pushing forward a little bit ahead. Um, don't fall into the very common error of believing that you must sit in an absolutely quiet corner where nobody um, passes by. That's what. So that's what we think. Just you try to close it up, nobody must come, nobody come to uh, disturb you. That must not happen. Absolutely quiet corner where nobody passes by, that attitude, that thinking must not be there. People will come, it is there, it is very open. But the thing is that how you are prepared, how you have been, you are progressing, that is what the only matter that accounts, some other course, I will uh, try to quote it again. Common error, very common error, then usually normally do, usually people do. This is the normal um, state of progress, uh, state of uh, working. 
common error of believing that uh, you must sit in an absolute quiet corner, absolute quiet corner, uh, beyond the reachability of the common man, when the passers by will not come, they won't disturb you, nobody can touch you, you will felt unreached, untouched, something like this, uh, nobody can, where you are in a um, classical position and altogether immobile, classical position, immobile, sitting beyond the reachability, quiet, um, uh, absolutely quiet corner, nobody can pass by, these are the things normally people think of and they try to get the, this type of scenario, circumstance so that uh, they may be able to meditate but mother is not uh, agreed to that much extent, it is not agreeable. In order to be able to meditate, that is not the requirement, but not true, that's what mother quotes, it is not true. This idea is not true, uh, that's what normally people do, you know, that's what used the common error of believing. Believing, okay, common error of be believing, people commit errors in this way, they do, they go the, that way. And it is not true. Um, what is needed is to succeed in uh, meditating under all circumstances. Already I have quoted. This is what happening. Uh, that another example also I keep giving like this. Um, somebody was meditating for hours. So people came and uh, complained. Maybe out of jealousy or something they complained. This man is uh, meditating for a long. Sri is keeping quiet after a long time. Sri Aurobindo tried to focus and uh, told. Yes, he is meditating but meditating on his wife thinking of the wife. So that's what uh, he is sitting and thinking about is my wife and you people are um, crazy. You think he is meditating. So meditating, sitting in um, closed eyes, immobile, it does not uh, indicate that you are uh, in conscious union with the divine. That's what you must understand. That is the common error of believing and the common error of uh, doing the mistakes. Normally we do. That is the normal process. Nobody, most of nobody is a wrong term, but actually most of the time you can feel that percentage in the, is not yet calculated, but thing is normally people do. So, uh, try to succeed in meditating under all circumstances and uh, I call meditating, not emptying your head, but um, uh, concentrating yourself in the um, uh, contemplation of the divine, sitting in the backhand head, thinking of nothing, simply I have to sit, I have to sitting, simply because I have to close my eyes, I have closed, but I don't have the agenda in me. I have not decided what really I have to do, but I am doing, I am sitting here. That is not the thing. Um, you must see, it, uh, concentrate yourself in a contemplation of the divine and uh, if you keep this contemplation within you, within you, the, this is very much clear, very much um, um, this thing. Mm, impressive, so all you do it will change in its quality, not its appearance, mm, for apparent, apparently it will be the same thing, but in quality. If this inner attitude is there, you are sitting inner contract with the divine, you are in the active stage, you are getting the strength from above, that bio power and the light is the guidance, you are meditating under all circumstances, you have chosen to pick up, you have picked up to meditate. Then the thing is that not only the quantity, how long you are meditating, that, that will never matter, but what the thing will matter, that is um, the quality will improve, that is what the great uh, boon, great um, advantage for you. And life will change its quality, life will change, not only the meditation quality, but your life will also change and you, you will feel a little different from what you were. You will feel little different from what you were with a, a peace, a certitude. Um, that's what in, will, you will get and your life will change accordingly. You will get a peace, a certitude, inner calm and um, unchanging force, um, something which um, never gives way. Something never gives way. It is constant, consistent and you will get and you will feel and realize that way. So what is the life change? The, with this progress that quality of meditation will change quality of life will change and you will feel, the feeling will come like this, you will get a peace, second uh, certitude, a second in third is an inner calm and finally changing force. Um, so these are the things you are going to get a peace, number two certitude, number three the inner calm, number four. An unchanging force is something which um, gives way. So these are the four things that will change the quality of your life, no doubt of it. It is a very Mm, uh, smooth thing and very um, uh, requ most required thing uh, you know. 
so for that actually mother um, have you have you a something to say here beautiful things mother has to say on dynamic meditation mother course um, you have to reject the ordinary consciousness you have to you may meditate um, to enter into the depths of your being reject the ordinary consciousness then second reject um, then enter into the depths of your being you may meditate to learn how to give yourself integrally then meditate for all kinds of things these are the things dynamizing enter in depth meditation so mother course but uh, you may also meditate to receive the force of transformation without which you can do for that meditating means simply not lighting uh, closing the eyes uh, to receive the force of meditation to discover the points to be transformed but not the points to be transformed to trace out the line of progress these are the things must be done when you have a difficulty to clear up a solution to find when you want to help from um, um, some action or another for considering all these steps you have to sit for meditation but if one wants to meditation to be dynamic then what he has to do one he has to have must the must have the aspiration for progress meditation must be done um, to help and fulfill the aspiration for progress for that actually you must know you must go that is for that actually in depth meditation is necessary minor um, meditation and uh, of course you know concentration with the uh, divine these are the conditions required for this in depth meditation for the progress for the change of quality of life one day matter